Hey guys, welcome to part 41. On the last episode, we completely beat all the challenges. However, for some reason, my audio died. So this is actually our superhero guide. So right now, I'm actually watching it right along with you. This is going to be interesting. Well, let's go. Alright, first up is... Ice. Ice is good. So you can ice skate. Takes out lava blocks. So, you kind of got center attack, forward attack, go in the air, spin. That's really the most effective weapon you got. That's, yeah, that's really the best thing. Hmm. Yeah. Eh. Not really. Ice suction is, um... It's same thing as normal suction, so really... No big deal. Really, this one's... I'd say it's okay on taking down enemies, but not really. It sucks against bosses, though, so... I, I can't suggest it. I mean, that attack works pretty nice, but that's assuming they stay still, and if they are staying still, they're gonna come eat you anyway. So... There you go. Mostly enemy-based. On to the next one. Alright, we got Hammer. Hammer? Hammer is really simple. It's pure melee. That's it. That attack really isn't that good for much. It has really short range. You're a lot better off with that attack, the swirling. And the midair. So just like keep moving if you're gonna use it. Once again, this thing is like pure enemy. See? There's like no range. So it's like completely pure enemy based. However, you do got this. That's its only range attack, and I don't count that. So really, don't use on bosses. And that's pretty much it. See, um... I consider spear, sword, cutter, and hammer all in the same group. Hammer is the most enemy-based one. Alright, we'll learn about the other ones as they come, though. So, on to the next one. Alright, fighter. Fighter has to be one of my favorites. You got loads of styles of attacks, from little Kami Kamaha that just went there, to... You saw the kind of like long range kick, motion punches, the moving attack. There's this one that's like, you can... Yep, there's that. Downward kick, and upward. And there's another one where like you can do like little flips in the air, I want to say. No, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of Ninja. Now throws? I don't get throws. So I mean they're cool, but... Most things are going to die from a normal attack anyway, so there's like, no- There it is! Now this one, it's nice against bosses, but at the same time, it's not. Know what I mean? I mean, it's really- You can use it on bosses fairly well. The Kamehameha, the little long range- That little long range kick that just happened. All those work really well against bosses. But really, once again, person orientated. So, it's also really nice though for just be like- Constantly on an enemy, constantly moving. So, not a bad choice. It is one. Of, it is one of my favorite for good reason, though. That kami kami ha, and that that attack. That attack just makes me happy. Look at that. It does not get much better. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, now we got wing. Wing is the most mobile out of the group. If you want one that just lets you move around fast, this one's it. You got like these little feathers and you can sort of aim them. I'll be honest, they're worthless. Okay, I think they suck. But you got other things. As you can see, I'm cycling through. You got Condor Head. And then you got the Condor Dive. However, there's Condor Dive and then there's that thing. It's kind of hard to do the difference. But if you can hit someone with it, it's really cool. I think that's pretty much it. Now overall... It's one of my favorites, but it's very mobile. It's not very good for bosses. I mean, yeah, you can do that rush attack, but if you only get halfway through, you'll, that'll, you'll be hit. Like, you'll be like, bum, 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 on the way out. But if you're looking for something just to, like, sprint through a level as fast as possible, and to kill as much as you can on the way there, you got your winner right here. This place is just so cute. Oh, you can toss people, too. Yeah, sorry. 
Plus that flap, the flap cuts while it's, while it's doing things, which is pretty cool. I mean, it really is kind of for like, oh, someone gets close to you and I can't do the condor dive. That's okay, I can just go shing, 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 shing. You usually won't kill him though. So, mostly mobile, on to the next one. All right, ninja, Naruto style. So you get infinite shurikens, you can be on walls. The shurikens don't really do much damage. They're okay against enemies though. Because since you can rapid fire them, you got a sword. If you combo near people, you see it does that little wave, which is cool. You also got like this, um, I'll probably do it next. Yep. I like that move, it's pretty nice. Ninja kick, similar to the fighter. You'll discover that a lot of moves kind of copy each other. So, smoke screen. I, um, eh, it, it's too short a range. Blossom Storm, Anne really liked that, but see, it, it, that's all it does, it kind of just kind of sucks them in. Another throw. Sorry. Me no get throws. Overall, uh, yeah, I'll just keep sitting there throwing them. Overall, I don't really... Ah, oh, you got all these counter ones and stealth water guns, so... Overall, not really a good one, in my opinion. It's useful for puzzles. It's sort of useful for enemies. It sucks against bosses. I'm sorry, in my opinion, don't like it. Sorry. Sorry, Naruto. I watch your anime sometime. Alright, on to the next one. Water. You can do the surfing thing, and if you turn, it does that little splash, which is cool. That surf, though, that's the best attack. You're invincible while you do it. You can go through loads of enemies. That little spit thing, I don't get it. It's cool on the way down, but other than that, it kind of sucks. You got this upward attack. And I think we might have done that earlier, actually, but... Eh. Mm. That, that geyser is really cool. It's useful. Eh. Hmm. You also got this ability to just kind of spit water. Absorb. Never mind that surf. Overall, it's a tat. See that geyser? Okay, you got the spit. Doesn't really do that much. The, the geyser and the surf are like the only attacks worth anything. Once again, this is a really mobile ability. Not very good against bosses. I mean, you can kind of make it work if you could sit there and go, geyser, geyser, geyser. But than that, no. So, yeah. On to the next one. High jump. If you thought wing was mobile, this one's more mobile, but actually on a vertical. You can do super high jump. You can. Okay, you can high jump up. And you can high jump down. Like that. That's all you do, just up, down, up, down. Now, in theory, this can be useful for bosses. And it, it's kind of good against enemies. But if you're on a horizontal stage... Sorry. I mean, you can sit there and just keep going foom, 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 but... Really? Once again, mostly mobile. Has some practicality with bosses. Not really. You're alright against enemies. Tornado, on the other hand, encompasses that same spirit but worse, because literally you're just letting yourself get out of control, and if you shake the controller, you protect yourself and you have to do that little cooldown thing. And you can shoot one up. This one is, think of it like a terrible version of high jump. Because that's literally what it is. You sit there and you lose control while moving around. So, oh, and you can do it down too, my bad. But yeah, I don't like the ability. I mean, it's fun to play with for the first two seconds, and it's pretty good against enemies. But after that, uh, kind of sucks. So, sorry. All right, bombs. I'll be honest, bombs disappointed me in this game. I mean, you can aim them. You can roll them. You can set them on the ground. They'll automatically go off when they see an enemy. What am I doing? I don't know, but you can throw them, you can roll them, you can aim them. 
there's really nothing else. Just, oh, you can do that, which is kind of funny, actually. But really, what enemy is going to let you get close enough to do that? That's all it is, just boom, boom, boom. Now, some of you out there might say it's good against bosses, and I can see its potential, but I'll be honest, I don't think it, I tried using it with bosses, I, I didn't like it at all. So I guess you could use it for that. It's really more useful for puzzles and enemies, but yeah, sure, go for it. Our next is Spear. Remember I told you Hammer was really good against enemies? Spear is really good against bosses, as my sister pointed out. You got all these stabby combos. You can stab up. Stab up from your curve. Oh yeah, that's right, you can throw them if you sprint. Throw one. The helicopter. I love the helicopter. Look at that. You can do that near bosses too, and it racks up damage. You can stab down, you can stab up. In the water, you can stab. See, this is really nice because you can like reach up that little bit and get that little bit of range but still do pretty good damage. That's why it's like, among the melee, it's like the best against bosses. I mean, one could argue... Sorry, hold on. <coughs> Sorry. One could argue for Cutter, but... This one, as my sister has pointed out, serves pretty well. However, don't try the downward strike on enemies. Uh, I mean, on bosses, because they won't flinch, and they'll still hurt you. So, I think that's it. On to the next... Group five, yeah. Time for my hands. This is my hands down favorite ability. It's awesome against everything, especially bosses. You got the basic stabby, well, zappy thing. You can zap down, you can zap up. And then the best part, you can charge. Just shake the controller and move around a lot. And it creates this little feel that's like an eternal version of what that last one was. Except, um, it stays around you and you can't really consume things. And you can fire it off at any time. What? You can also charge it any time. Like, you could be in midair and hiding and charge it. I'll probably demonstrate. But, then you can fire it off as a, a projection. I almost had a torch. That's You can hide anywhere while shooting. Get up there, Kirby. <laughs> you can do that. That's pretty much it. Yeah. You can also do like little hat. Same thing. I got that. We will go to block. I love that. Sit there, just. I do that against bosses, it works really well. Just sit there going, bring it on. Got a nice turbo. And then finally, you can always This one's actually it's pretty okay against So, overall, I give it a higher than most. Sometimes though, like, it's actual little yeah, doesn't come in time, you can see this little delay. So, and also, be a little careful when using it against bosses, obviously, because you have to be relatively close to them. But that little revolutionary thing? Love it. That thing is so much fun. Alright, now, Whip. This thing sucks against bosses. And it kind of sucks against enemies. But it does grab things, so that's pretty cool. I mean, you Whip. You multi-Whip. That's like the best attack, though. You whip this way, you whip that way, you whip that way, you whip down, you whip... D d d d really, that's it. Eh. Eh. I mean... Y yeah, you can kill enemies with it fairly well, but... It pretty much sucks against bosses. And I don't like the ability. I mean, you can see why they put it in, and it's cool, and it has its place, but... In terms of enemies, maybe it's because I'm comparing it to my favorite, which is Spark. I don't like it. Alright, another kind of odd one. One thing to note, though, is that things that, like, touch the top of your umbrella... See, it'll hurt guys, it'll block some projectiles, which is pretty cool. 
Hey, look at that. Then you go, floom. You can keep it going, which in that situation is hilarious. I mean... Get down. You can change directions. You can dash. It, it, it's really... It sucks against bosses. It's, it's not really that great against enemies. It, it's kind of more for movement, like wing and high jump is. I mean... Circus. That's pretty much it. And you can do that. That's kind of cool, but since you have infinite flight anyway, it's like... Not really that big of a deal. Sorry. I don't like, I don't like the ability. Once again, it's kind of one of those, you know, you grab it because it's there, not out of preference things. So, yeah. On to the next one, Kirby. Come on, Kirby. Kirby! Quit messing around with me! You're spritzing in with water! I don't see the effect! Okay, stone! This one's almost entirely for puzzles. You can do three things. You turn to a nuclear facility. Or a Kirby statue. You sprint and slide as a rock. I noticed like there's that little explosion as you make it, and there's that upward fist. Really, it's only meant for puzzles. I mean, one could argue for bosses. I mean, get above them, boom. Escape. Get above them, boom. Escape. You could argue for that, but really, no. Oh, you got that super smash, which really does nothing. It's just a big, bigger shockwave. That's what I'm saying. You could argue that it could be good against bosses and enemies. But as a personal preference, I'm going to say no. You don't use it for its combat preference. You use it because you need to. That's why I'm like... Muscle Man Statue. Oh, it's a fist. You know, for some reason, I always thought it was something else. It's a fist. Da fist. I'm sorry, it's this way. Da fist. That's from Brawl. Or... Okay, that was kind of cool, but how often is that going to happen? Never. Alright, next. Get back up right now. Sword. Sword is like the middling ground between spear and hammer. Just got long enough range where you can use it against bosses if you want to. That sword beam, pretty nice. It's got some nice moves that are really good against taking care of enemies. However, it lacks a little bit when it comes to bosses. I mean, you can do... No shit. You can do that, which is cool. You can do a... Come on, do the spin attack. Do the spin attack. Okay, drill. Drill's pretty cool. That move's pretty nice. If you don't do it... If you don't do that, he just does this, like... Oh. That thing's kind of useless, to be honest. I mean... It's kind of nice. It isn't. Downward thrust. Link style. The upward slash is pretty good. Look at that. See, um, there's like... That was cool. That was cool. Nice for taking care of enemies that surround you. And that's... And underwater, you'll spin. Sword. It's the middling ground between hammer and spear. Spear works best against bosses. Hammer works best against enemies. I count it in the middle because it's like kind of both. You know what I mean? Mm, sort of. Okay. Fire! Ugh. I don't know what's called in Nintendo 64 Land. It was like Phoenix. that and the little napalm. I love that. I think that's its coolest ability, hands down. I mean, other than that though, it's like... You, you light things on fire. Um... Okay, that's kind of cool, but that's only really a surrounding shield. Um, spinning fire breath, similar to ice, that's like your one good move. The fireball spin... 
I... I don't get the fireball spin, okay? So really, you got, you got the midair spin and the dash. That's it. Overall, it's okay against enemies. Kind of on the same ground as ice when it comes to, like, actual bosses. So I can't suggest it at all. Sorry, just can't. Does not get my vote of approval. I mean, look, I can't even name with an napalm. All right, spikes. I guess we could say spikes is on the same level as like sword and spear and stuff. Except, other than that, which is pretty cool against bosses. Well, actually, it's on its own little wavelength. The spike is good for you know surrounding attacks for when there's lots of enemies. That the roll thing is pretty okay. The drill, I like the drill. But really, its strength comes in using spikes and then firing them just by shaking them over and over again. I right, watch, I'll probably do it again. No? There we go. See, you can sit there and just like let a boss take that and you can get a lot of damage out of it. So, pretty good against bosses, alright against enemies. I like it. That drill, that little um, steamroller thing, kind of useless though. Alright, next one! Next one, Kirby! Leaf! Um... Leaf. You can... You throw leaves. It, it's, um... That's pretty nice against enemies, because, like, nothing can get in within that. You let it, let it go, and leaves go everywhere to kind of protect you. See? You could do this um, leaf dance, same thing essentially, and then you could do like this upper leaf. Eh, I don't, I don't block. I like that. That's pretty cool. Now the leaf rain is probably its best anti-boss ability. Look at that. I like that. But really, other than that. I mean, you could, within theory, go up to bosses and just keep doing the spinning attack, but really, probably no. So, does not get my approval. Now, Cutter! Cutter is cool. Because look, you throw, you throw, and you throw, and it goes backwards infinitely. And then you can charge it up. Charge, Kirby. And it gets bigger with longer range. And it keeps going. You also can do this like dash down attack. Oh, and dash to the side attack. Pretty good against enemies. Okay, you got that down slash, which is good. Be careful with that though. You know, don't fall off a cliff. And then you got like this super cutter ability. Awesome against enemies because it creates. Nice little shockwave. Boom. Boom. So really, this one, you can use the boomerangs against bosses, but it doesn't always work well. Usually it doesn't. And it's okay against enemies. Pretty nice range weapon. So, yeah. About sums up. Cutter. I love that move. Boom. Alright, so... Now that's it, I think, actually. Yeah, that was all 20. So, anyone else we should do? Now. It looks like I'm actually still driving it a little bit, which is something to note. I mean, look at that. Yeah, apparently you can still drive it. So, what's left? Oh! Let's get, um, Waddle D and Waddle D, Meta Knight, and King D D in there. So, give me a second, and I'll set it up. Or I'll wait for myself in there to set it up. Oh, apparently not, I'm doing a quick summary. Alright, so, Ice is mostly enemy. Hammer is mostly enemy. Fighter is good against everything. Wing is mobile. Ninja kinda sucks. Alright, then we got Water. Water is also mostly mobile. Mo horizontal. Then you got High Jump, which is vertical. Wind, which is just out of control. Bomb is sniping. Spear, pretty okay against the stabby. Got shock, hands down favorite ability, works against everything. Beam, which is a nice little vroom vroom 
It's alright. I like it. Whip. Only really useful for puzzles. Parasol. Kinda sucks against most things. Rock. Good for puzzles. Then we got sword. Nice. It's a median. Fire is on the same level as ice. It kinda sucks. Spike. Nice for surrounding enemies. That spike. Spike without attack works pretty well too. Leaf. The leaf is kind of okay against enemies. That's pretty much it. And Cutter kind of works on everything, but not really. So, now it's time for me to set up Meta Knight and those guys so you guys can see what they can do. So, give me a second. I'll be right back. Alright, so now let's check out these guys as I get my favorite ability. Damn. Sorry. Alright, Meta Knight. Or, who are we doing first? Waddle Dee. Okay, I want you to imagine a spear. But more awesome. Really? Yes. <laughs> Basically it. Waddle Dee is, as you all learned from Anne, the spear. Except you can see, the spear actually, I believe it has a little bit more range, a little bit more power. Yeah. Basically it. Just think of it as a spear, but better. And loved it, so yeah. Bam! Bam! And Kirby's just sitting over there like, "Wow, Waddle Dee's a murderer." Also, Waddle Dee moves faster than Kirby, so that's good to know. Kirby, you stole my spark, Kirby. Get back, dang it! All right. Um. I guess I'm checking for normal Kirby. Nope, never mind. Meta Knight! Okay, imagine if someone combined wing and sword. Boom, you got Meta Knight. He is awesome. See, nice sword attack. He's got the sword beam going for him. What else can he do? Yep, sword beam. Love the sword beam. He's got, um... Ah, piercing slash. Once again, sword. Nice spin attack. Got the little chop thing, which, as we've already decided, is eh. Nice little upward attack, which is nice. Okay, against guys coming down towards you and down back. Boom, look at that. Now, you do get line moves. Mostly that one, but that's still pretty good. And you get the shuttle loop. Woo, look at that! Woo! He can fly! We all already can fly! It really doesn't matter! So, really, I'm kinda jealous that I never got to use Midnight, cause I like him a Look at that! I like him a lot, he's really well set up. I mean, you got Sword, which is awesome, and then you got Flying, which is awesome. Yeah, he can move faster than Kirby, too. Look at that. So, that's pretty much it. And finally, we got DDD. Okay, so DDD, imagine Kirby with a hammer. That's it, you see like the little air breath is a little bit more powerful. His hammer is bigger, bigger shockwave, more powerful. I don't really get that. It, it, it's okay though, I mean. His spin attack is awesome. Though. Yeah, you got the nice little over. Yeah! Once again, what enemy's gonna sit there and wait for you? Now, the hammer throw! You might have complained earlier about hammer that if you can use that awesome move if you lose the hammer. Not with DDD, you can sit there and keep using it, so it's actually pretty okay for everything. So DDD might actually be a lot more powerful than I gave him credit for. I mean, you can just sit there and just keep throwing hammers, and you'll always get another one, so... Pretty good. So I think that's it, actually. He actually you can see he actually moves as fast as Kirby, so if you want speed, go for Waddle D or Meta Knight. So that's it. Um, what am I doing with Waddle D? Oh yeah, see? See how much faster you can move? 
way faster vertical. Meta Knight is way faster horizontal. See, look at that. King DDD, he's just kind of the same. Man, I wish I could use Meta Knight. Look at that. Just look at that power. Look at that awesomeness. Badam. Badam. And you can go piggyback and, you know, do those double attacks, but really, those are lame and no one wants to use them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Those are all the abilities. Sorry if this video has been a little jumpy. For some reason, I keep accidentally unplugging my headphones, which makes a large difference. Which means I might have to go redo some Skyrim videos now, actually, because I think that's what happened. Yeah, I've been working on Skyrim right now, so. Alright, so. I don't know what I just did right there. But, uh. I don't know what the goal here is, but. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, do I need? Am I doing another rundown on them all, or nope? I think that's good. So, thank you guys so much for being with us. I really appreciate your comments and your comments, suggestions for things. I do this for you, and without God's intervention and help and help you with these videos or your guys' comments, this channel wouldn't be what it is today. So, thank you so much for coming with us, and I hope you join us on our next walkthrough. And I hope this is actually useful. So, I'm actually just waiting for this video to cut out now since I'm actually not sure when to quit. So, see you guys then.